Lawyers are the smartest people ever. We know how to get around all the illegal things. Keep watching to find out what book I'm talking about today. Hey, it's Kyla Dodongo and you're watching Kyla's Reading Day. So today we are talking about the book, Counterfeit. This book was written by Christy Chen. The genre of the book is fiction. The theme of the book is literature. So my favorite plot twist in this book is when we figure out why Ava is talking to the detective, okay? So Ava is this lawyer, she's really big and prestigious, and she decides to stop practicing to raise her son. So she's hanging out, she bumps into an old friend, she's dealing with her husband, and you're like, okay, she's got this life going, what's gonna happen? Child, she runs into an old friend and everything goes crazy, right? She gets caught up in this big counterfeit ring, and it's so funny to watch. It's so funny to read, right? Because she knows how to skirt the law, how to get away with everything, how to get right up to the edge, but not quite push the limit. And I think it's absolutely brilliant that it's a lawyer who is caught up in counterfeiting, right? You see her start to travel and she's out inspecting merchandise and doing all this stuff. Her whole thing was that she didn't want to work in the law firm because she needed her own time. And now she gets caught up in this whole completely different job illegal job. So the reason why it's so important that Ava's talking to the detective is because we find out that she is actually still working a con, right? She is still has an angle. She has a couple more cards up her sleeve that she has to play. And so when you find that out, you're like, Ava, you're not so naive. So, oh, I'm the little housewife that we all thought you were, right? If you're still watching the video, give it a thumbs up. You know, clearly you're enjoying the content or at least you think I'm entertaining, okay? Like the video, that really does help YouTube share it with more people. And while you're here, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe so that you can get the next book review that is coming out, okay? And a little bonus here, this is so important to me because when I worked in big law, I actually worked in counterfeit. I worked in an e-commerce division of intellectual property which is where we were dealing with online sellers who were counterfeiting our clients' materials, counterfeiting their logos, counterfeiting all of their stuff. And so this is super relevant to me, right? And I mean, even the cover, you're like, okay, counterfeit, there's bags in her eyes, right? But the fact that she's a lawyer, <laughs> just, it's like if I took all of my knowledge that I know and used it for evil. And so would I reread the book? Even though I am so excited, so over the moon, glowing about it, I wouldn't reread it. Ava was cute, her husband was irritating, Winnie was kind of okay, but Henri, or probably Henri, was the most exciting part about it, right? Like, again, this isn't a story that I'll forget, and that's typically my criteria for whether or not I would reread a book, right? It has to be either a story that I would miss and I wanna revisit, or the characters I want, I can imagine what they're doing after the book and I wanna kinda see their story again. And I definitely would not forget that in this book, okay? So thank you for hanging out with me. Let me know, do you enjoy books about lawyers? Are you interested in counterfeits? Have you ever had a counterfeit bag? <laughs> Have you ever thought about what happens behind the scenes with counterfeiters and how they even get into that practice or that job? Because this book will give you all of the details all about it, okay? And I will see you next time on Kyla's Reading Day. Bye.